Hey everybody, today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I got a couple of new pairs of Nikes in the mail this week and I thought it'd be fun to kind of unbox them and look at some of the things that I think make them great designs. So let's start with the first one here and get into it. As many of you know, I, I worked at Nike for about eight years as a footwear designer. Um, I'm still really partial to the brand, but these are a couple of, of new releases that I thought were particularly good. Both of these are going to be from SB. I just think SB has been doing some great work. Um, so the first one I'm going to be looking at is the SB Air Max Janoski 2. And this is just a great rockable shoe. I'm not sure how great of a skate shoe it is. It doesn't have a lot of protection, but I wanted this as just like an awesome summer shoe. And it's just super clean. I mean, to me, this is obviously my aesthetic. I'm not a teenager. I'm not a 20 something. I'm a 40 something year old designer. I don't want things that kind of fall into that anti-design dad shoe zone. I want things that are just like really clean. Um, I love just the simplicity of the exposing the max bubble here that kind of refers back to the air max one but even within that there's some nice kind of subtle sculpting going on that's a little bit interesting um what i like about these just kind of a super simple breathable upper all knit um, you can see it has this kind of cool dimensional jacquard weave to it the branding is super subtle but there's still some really nice detailed hits on it here um, and then again, super simple midsole and then something that's obviously great for skate, but also just great for durability, durability when walking around, it's got a full length outsole. So you notice a lot of running shoes now will just have a couple of rubber pods and just, you know, that makes them lighter and more comfortable, but it also makes them wear out faster. What they've done here is a really cool combination is they've given you this kind of full length rubber, um, but you could see all the like exposed midsole and the traction there. So they've alleviated some weight um, and added some flexibility by doing that through this really nice, simple, but intricate pattern. Uh, small detail, just not a huge deal, but I just, maybe just the way I was taught kind of growing up as a designer at Nike, always put the, the swoosh pointing to the back the tail should always go to the back because it's a it's a directional logo so this logo is kind of like to me going the wrong way um it also doesn't seem to be totally centered in there it feels a little bit like it's drifting up to here a little bit but it's a small point and it's it's on the bottom of the shoe so not a huge deal they've also wrapped the rubber up nicely up the toe this prevents delamination when when rubber stops a little bit lower it has a tendency to kind of delaminate a little bit. And they've done a really nice job where they've they faded out the depth of the pattern. Because so you want to make the rubber a little bit thinner as it goes here. Just again, to remove weight, add flexibility. It's not really where it's going to wear out, so it's not a big deal. Um, but So they've reduced the depth of that to make it kind of a thinner sheet. But they've gotten rid of those holes so they get a little bit more glue bonding. Also notice how those white holes kind of stop as they get to the perimeter here. And that's because you want enough um, adhesive bonding around the edges, again, so it doesn't delaminate. As I would assume, especially if you're skating, right, that's, you're, you're putting a lot of stress laterally on the outsole there, and you can see it's just really nicely stock fit. So that's that shoe. Pretty sweet, just very rockable summer shoe. So let's get into the second one actually really excited about this one a little bit it's a little bit different so the second one also from the SB group and this is the uh, the Nija free so super excited I mean excited about him as an athlete excited about this design for him as a signature shoe so 
again, you can see I kind of went for the same thing of super simple, a very simple design. I actually would love it even if this logo was tonal. And it's actually interesting when I when I looked at the pictures of this, I thought this this would have been embroidered and it has kind of like an embroidered texture. You know, this is like this logo, for example, is an, is an embroidered logo. Um, but actually it's not embroidered, it's, it's actually welded, which is really cool and it has this super grippy texture. And the upper is it's kind of awesome. It's, it's, um, it's this kind of like TPU-like material, so it's gonna be a little bit hot, but obviously like a great shoe for skating. I mean, the whole thing is, imagine having a, a basically a rubber upper for, for skating, so it's gonna be crazy durable. And what I loved about it is it has these, you notice these kind of ventilation holes here, very reminiscent. I think it's a throwback to the original Presto. If you look at the cage on the, the Presto, which is from maybe 1998, something like that, 1999, um, it had this, this kind of openings in the cage. And I just, I mean, as a Nike dork, that's like a really cool little subtle throwback to a shoe that was very much a designer type of a shoe. Some really nice subtle molding going on here. So, so it's a one piece kind of hole from the, from the quarters all the way around to the vamp, but they've added this nice little bit of molding here. So it just breaks it up a little bit, some ventilations, and then just really one stitch here, which I'm sure is to just hold the booty. Yeah, it just kind of holds the, the upper to this kind of booty so that it doesn't sink down. I wanna see if that booty goes all the way to the front. Yeah, actually the, yeah, the full booty feels like it uh, goes all the way around. So it's, you're basically kind of like wearing a sock with a, this rubber cage around it. Um, not that I'm going to be skating, but just are super going to be a super durable shoe. Um, and I also really love the SB branding on the bottom here. You can see this is a, a nice little thing. I, I love when brands do this. So even though these are two different models that we've been looking at, you can see that the traction is... You know, it's not the same, but it's aware of each other. Uh, that pattern is similar. And to me, I think as a designer, it's important when different models acknowledge each other. So there's some, some subtle things that are similar, even just like the simple um, sidewall sculpting going on in the midsole, right? I mean, it's not the same, but again, similar lines, like this sculpting line that goes here and this obviously refers much more to the Air Max one, even with this little notch. But even so, that, that sculpting line, not that dissimilar from this line that wraps up and, and down and around. Some nice, simple color hits and a nice little Nyjah signature hit on the tongue. But overall, the branding is, is pretty subdued. Um, you know, I might even take a Sharpie to this and just black out the swoosh. Just again, I, I just prefer my branding to be a little more stealth. Um, I mean, I think it still kind of says Nike to me. Uh, and then there's just tons of nice little details on here. You can see all these little intricate sculpting details. And, you know, these things, the, these things don't cost money. This doesn't cost money to do this. It just costs time to get it right. But those details make for such a nicer product. And even just the way that they really wrap around. It's, it's one thing to kind of do it on a profile, but you know if you're, you're building these things out as a design, much harder to get it to like just wrap beautifully all the way around. It's, it's easier to kind of like just stop it here and not have to deal with how that wraps around. So I think that's a really nice detail. Both these shoes have just a really nice kind of full booty construction. So they're gonna be nice and simple. The toe boxes are low, so they're not, not gonna be a lot of air in there. I kind of, I tend to have more of a a Nike foot, which is a little bit lower and narrower, so I know these will fit me well, but I'm kinda excited to, to get them on and start rocking them. So anyway, for if any of you are curious what shoes that I tend to like to, to wear and to buy, these are two of the latest that I'm gonna be rocking. All right, everybody, thanks for joining. Hope you enjoyed this quick little unboxing and review. Just something new I'm gonna be trying out. Just thought it'd be fun to just talk a little bit of design and show off some of the details that I think make um, some of the designs that I gravitate towards what, what makes uh, me consider them good. 
even like, I don't know if you guys could see this, but like how subtle this, this branding is here. I mean, that's just, now it's hard to convince marketing people sometimes to be that subtle. And so, you know, I know even like little things like this are, are design wins. And it's nice to see a brand doing that. Even this, wow, look at this. Look, you could actually see there's some, oh yeah, wow, the way this lacing works in here. This is really interesting. So there's some cords that actually tie the lacing down and, and wrap all the way around that booty. Um, and, and just, again, a little thoughtful details like that. So as you're pulling the laces, you're actually, instead of just pulling these two pieces closer together, you're actually causing um, the fit to adjust all the way around the foot. And I just love seeing little things like that. Just the extra time and thought that, um, you know, you have to really be looking to notice stuff like that. It's like, it doesn't really, um, it takes courage to kind of add things like that that maybe aren't as visible at the point of sale. Um, but those are the kind of details that only the person that buys it will notice. Maybe then, maybe they'll never even notice it. But I think those are the, the subtle things that take a design from, from good to great. And it's so important to, to push for those things. All right, hope you enjoyed this and uh, we'll see you all soon.